After the uh, assassination of the president, Robert Kennedy just disappeared. Nobody could get to him. He didn't talk, he didn't, no interviews, nothing. One month. Everybody wondered how would Bobby come out of this. And one day I got a phone call. Jack, yes, Bob Kennedy. Bob. He said, look, um, he could be very, very tough when he, when, when he wanted something. <laughs> and he said, I got to uh, come out of this. I've got to appear somewhere. I've got to start acting a normal life again. And uh, I have to do it some dramatic way, I guess. And he said, uh, I've chosen uh, to come with you. Would, would that be all right? What would be all right? It would be a story, a, a big, big story for me. And... Uh, he said, well, I've always been at ease with you, and uh, we're friends, and okay, when do you want me? I said, do you want to come tonight, you know? I feel deeply honored tonight to share some of that lifetime with you and to discuss it with a man whose own life reminds us of what brother really means, the distinguished Attorney General of the United States, Mr. Robert Kennedy. honor to have you here, sir. Thank you. Uh, well, wait till the folks just sit down quietly for a moment, and then we're just going to talk about, I know the thing closest to your heart at this very moment is the Memorial Library, and may I just ask some personal questions about how is Mrs. Kennedy, Mrs. John Kennedy? She's fine, really, making a uh, adjustment and uh, doing it well. She spends uh, most all of her time with her uh, children now, and uh, she, I think she's making a good deal of progress. What do you think, sir, was uh, your brother's greatest contribution? Well, I think really he made um, Americans feel young again. Yes. And uh, I think that uh, I think that he gave all of us more confidence in the country, more confidence in the struggles that we're involved in internally and externally will be successful, more confidence in our efforts uh, with uh, those who are opposed to us. I think also he gave great confidence in people who lived in other countries, great confidence in the United States and in its leadership, and that we were dedicated to certain principles and ideals, and that we would live up to them and, uh, if necessary, uh, fight for them, and uh, so that uh, I think it changed over a period of years that our own feelings as well as the feelings of other peoples around the world. 